Hey guys, welcome to CryoFX Rentals. So this video is specifically on CO2 jets and handheld or CO2 cannons, handheld or not, regardless, anything CO2 related that is the equipment. We're going to need a couple of things from you. What are those things? How many CO2 tanks are needed if you're going to be renting CO2 tanks with us? If not, then it doesn't matter. You handle the CO2 tanks, we'll handle the rental equipment. So with the rental equipment, when you're dividing CO2 jets into one line, typically you can do two or three jets into a line. And of course, other than that, it gets kind of complicated. So let us know more importantly, how you want your CO2 jets configured. One jet with one hose to one tank, or two jets on one hose to one tank, or one jet, two jets, three jets, one hose, one, two, three tanks. You let us know and we will quote those specific items for you as we do all types of rentals. If you need eight tanks in the one jet, that's something that we can cover. Regardless of what it is, we can cover it. I just wanna make sure you understand how we calculate this and what we're able to do so that you can come to us and say, this is the configuration I want, this is how I want it. CO2 tanks. CO2 tanks need a siphon tube. That's the tanks that we rent. If you have a backpack for a handheld CO2 cannon, that does not require a siphon tube. We are aware of that, just let us know what items you are going to be using the CO2 tanks for or what items you're renting. Of course, if it's a backpack, if it's a handheld cannon, you get the point here. Now, with the CO2 tanks, 20 pound tank generally lasts 40 seconds, generally. 50, 60 pound tank, generally 60 to 80 seconds. We do offer larger tanks, we can quote those as well. How many tanks or how much runtime do you need for each CO2 jet, each handheld cannon? If you let us know that and you say, look, I want one jet with a hose that connects to one tank, I need the hose to be this long, length. We need to know the length of the hose for each CO2 cannon. Once we know that, we can quote you on the tanks. If you tell us I want this one jet or X amount of jets. I have five jets and I want each jet to blast CO2 for three minutes. We're able to calculate the tanks on the back end and give you the quote relevant to that. Tanks, tanks normally include rental days. Tanks have a very specific option for pickup and delivery. Tanks are very specific. We have another video in that somewhere else on this page. Outside of that, the CO2 equipment generally only draws up to one to two amps a piece so you can hook multiple pieces of equipment up on its own circuit. We do advise to use separate circuits for this equipment. The reason being is that way if anything else blows your circuit or if this triggers your circuit uh, to blow for whatever reason, it doesn't affect any other equipment and don't hook this up to any GFI, GCFI, uh, GFCI, all these names are what people call it, GFI circuits, they're those power plugs that have the buttons on it that you reset it. We just don't like hooking it up to that because those could trip and of course your equipment will not work. Also with the CO2 jets, do you need DMX cables? Do you need a DMX controller? Some of these jets have the ability to turn on and off with a power strip. So you won't need DMX cables or a DMX controller. However, most of them are DMX related and DMX controlled. Therefore, if you do need a DMX package is what we call it, cables and a controller, do let us know and we'll make sure that we include that in the quote as well. Also, if you need any extra washers, we do ship three washers per CO2 fitting. If you need extras, please do let us know. We'll build that into the quote. And of course, outside of that, that should cover any CO2 jets or any CO2 jet related equipment. Please be safe. Please make sure that you do not blast a ton of this in a small space. And of course, never shoot these at somebody's face or at their person at any time. Thank you for watching this video and this is CryoFX Rentals.